Creations with Christina, and we're on episode number three of the Country Life Cricut Cartridge Series. And today we're going to be making a shaped card, and we're going to be using our Gypsy. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to use a 12 by 12 mat. And actually I'm going to go ahead and start by opening a template. I just hit the silver button right here on the side, and I'm going to do open as template. And I'm going to make a card that is an A2 size card. So that is my... Um, for my four and a quarter by five and a half inch card. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to select my Country Life cartridge and we're going to be using the apple shape here. So the first thing I want to do is go ahead and select my shadow key because that's going to what, it, what I'm going to be using for the base of my card. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. And I'm going to use my size buttons right here just to go ahead and start sizing up how big I can fit a um, a card, a shaped card. So I think four inches is going to do it. So I'm going to select four inches and when I have this selected you can see now with the template this will fit into an A2 size envelope. So that's why I use templates because I'd like to make sure that my card is going to go ahead and fit into the envelopes I have and I don't have to make any kind of special size cards or anything like that. So I'm going to go ahead and move this right down the bottom. I'm going to take my template, oops, I'm going to go back over and turn it off. And you do that by just by selecting the little eyeball right here and that'll turn off your template so it's not distracting. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on my Apple, my advanced tab and hit my copy button. I'll zoom in here so you can see a little bit better. And what I'm going to do is just take my Apple and kind of lay it right on top of my original cut that I put on there. So that's about good. I'll zoom back out so you can see what I'm doing. And I'm going to use my flip uh, button right here. It's the one that's going to flip it upside down. And then I'll use my directional keys here to move my apple up just a little bit. And I'll zoom back in. I want to make sure that, oops, and I see I just moved that. I'm just going to hit undo. And I'm going to go ahead and move back over here. I'm going to select my apple here and then just make sure that I move my image up and they're overlapping just a little bit. And I think that should be pretty good. Actually, we can go up a little bit more. So I'm making sure that my stem of my apple is overlapping as well as my leaf right here. I'm going to go ahead and hit my group key. Well, let me zoom out here. I'll hit my group key and select my two images to be grouped together. So now see when I grab them? They're going to be selected to be grouped together there. I'm going to select my advanced tab and hit my weld button. And now when we preview, you'll see that where the two pieces are connected are grayed out. Okay? So I'm just going to go ahead and turn off my preview key, head back over to my basics tab. I'm going to select anywhere on my mat and I'm going to choose four inches because that is going to be the size I'm going to, of everything I add to my mat now. Okay, I'm going to head back over to my Country Life cartridge. I'm going to turn off my shadow key. And we're going to go ahead and start adding all of our images. So I'm just going to go ahead and add my apple. That's going to be our main image. I'm going to tap anywhere on my screen. Hit the shift key. And start adding all of my layers to my mat. And before I cut these out, I will go ahead and lay everything out on my mat the right way. So I'm adding all of my layers. Let's go back and select anywhere on my screen. I'm going to turn off the shift key because I already added my shift in layer one. So I'm going to add this one. And then I just have my layer two buttons to add. That'll be the leaf. And then the last thing, oops, go back over and select anywhere on my mat. And the last thing we have is just the little tiny accent that's going to go on the main apple. So, all right, so what I'm going to do is go ahead and lay these all out on my mat into the right places where I'm going to put my cardstock, and then we'll head over to the Cricut and cut these out. Okay, so I went ahead and laid everything out on my mat to fit, um, so I know that I had everything perfectly aligned, and I have all my cardstock now added to one mat. Um, when I designed it for you, I showed you just each individual ones, but now what I did was I have it all set up 
on my mat so it's a lot easier and I can cut everything out on one page or one mat. So I'm just going to go ahead and plug my Gypsy in. So I'm just going to connect my USB cable. And I already have my paper loaded and I gave this tip once before. If you have a cartridge in your machine and hit the load button, then um, you don't have to try to balance your mat and your Gypsy at the same time. So let me just go ahead and we're going to go over to the basics tab and we're going to select the the cut key and it's going to tell me um, normally it would say load map but I already have it loaded so now it says unload so I'm not going to do anything there I'm going to go ahead and select my cut key and it's going to tell me to check my um, my blade and my pressure and I have everything set um, I decided to go with everything on maximum and I'm just going to go ahead and select OK and it's going to start cutting <laughs> Okay, so I have all of my pieces cut out here and I'm going to go ahead and start putting this together. I'm going to start by folding my, my card and I'm just going to fold it right in half here. And I need to make sure that I've got it going in the right direction because sometimes I have a tendency to fold going backwards. So I'm just going to go ahead and fold there. Let me just get my bone folder and I'll score my my fold because I'm using a pretty thick cardstock for the base. Okay, so that is the base of my card. And what I'm going to do now is start building my layers. And I think I'm going to go ahead and start with this layer right here. Yep, so let me just get some adhesive out. And I'm just going to go ahead and start putting this together. So the first layer will go right here. I have to tell you guys, I this cardstock right here is um, Coordination's canvas uh, canvas textured cardstock, and it cuts beautifully on the Cricut. I love it. I I don't. Um, I picked it up at Joann's, I think, when they had it on sale, five for ninety five cents, and. Um, I'm telling you, I'm going to go back and get a lot more because it cuts just wonderfully. Alright, so I'm just layering my second apple here. And then I'll go ahead and adhere that down. And that goes right on this side here. This is going to make a great card for Ethan's teacher at the end of the school year to go with a gift. It was a thank you. little leaf that goes right on here. One thing I like about using textured cardstock, I always know which side's the right side and which side's the wrong side. So I'm going to go ahead and this is the little piece right there for the apple. So before I put that down, I want to decide I have some of this twine or this um, seam binding ribbon and I'm going to put this on here and I think I'm just going to make a bow with it. So I'm going to just tie a quick bow. And I'll put a link on my blog on where you can order or get this uh, seam binding. It's from my craft spot and she has some great she has vintage um, twine too and I'm going to use that too so you'll see that in a second oops make that a little shorter there we go alright so that's going to go right on here alright so I'm going to go ahead and glue down my little piece here to my apple and I lost my little my little quick stick, so I'll just use my tweezers to put this one down. I put way too much glue there. It's all right. Okay, so there we go. That's that. Before I put my bow down here on my apple, I'm going to stamp a little sentiment, and I'm going to use this paper tray ink. This is Fillable Frames number five, and I'm going to use the For You stamp. 
So let me just get that out. All right, so we're gonna use the For You sentiment. So I'm gonna put that on my block. And then I have a little piece of the craft cardstock. So I'm gonna stamp the For You in my new favorite ink, Jenny Bolin. And this is the chili powder. So I'm just gonna ink up my For You sentiment and I'm gonna stamp that right on here. And that was really crooked, so let me try that again. There we go, that's better. Okay. So I'm going to just trim this a little bit. And you know, I think I'm going to use this one, even though it's crooked. I'm going to use it anyway. Um, I'm going to take... I wanted to do the little like flag shape on the end and I'm not very good at doing that. So I'm just going to take the corner of my punch to do my flag shape. Okay? So that's just like kind of a quick cheater way to do the flag. All right. So I'm going to cut that down and I'm going to find my crap dial because I'm going to punch a little hole right in there. And then I'm going to use my vintage seam binding, or vintage twine rather, and I think I might use the red. No, I think I'm going to use the brown. My little container filled with seam binding and twine and all that good stuff. All right, so I'm going to use this. I'm just going to feed that through. Just cut that off. And let me see how I'm going to put this. I'm going to put this just like that. And I'm going to let them hang down a little bit. So I've cut off way too much. I'll save those and put them on buttons or something like that. And then this will go underneath. So I'm just going to go ahead and adhere this one down. So it's a little for you. And then I need a glue okay, dot. So I'm just going to take a glue dot and put it right on the back of my seam binding. And then I'm going to put that right there. So how cute is that? Okay. I'm just going to go ahead and adhere this down. And I'm going to use some dimensionals for this. I love using dimensionals. All right. These are my huge ones, so we'll just need a couple of these. These are the really, really thick ones. They're not as, as thin as Stampin' Up! So we're just going to go ahead and adhere this down to our card base. And there we go. That's our card for today. Thanks for watching another episode of Creations with Christine. I'll see you next time. Bye.